Guided by Voices Guided by Voices GBV is an American indie rock band formed in 1983 in Dayton, Ohio. It has made frequent personnel changes but always maintained the presence of principal songwriter Robert Pollard. The most well-known lineup of the band consisted of Pollard lead vocals, his brother Jim Pollard guitar, bass Mitch Mitchell lead guitars, Tobin Sprout vocals, rhythm guitars, Kevin Fennell drums, and bassist Greg Demos. Noted at first for its lo-fi aesthetic and Porte Studio 4 tracks to cassette production methods, Guided by Voices music was influenced by early post-British invasion garage rock, psychedelic rock, progressive rock, punk rock, and post-punk. The band has had a prolific output, releasing 35 full-length albums along with many other releases, and has garnered a dedicated cult following. Their songs are known for their frequent brevity and for ending abruptly or intertwining with eclectic and homemade sound effects. Guided by Voices initially disbanded in 2004. In 2010, the classic lineup reunited to perform at Matador Records' 21st anniversary party, subsequently touring and releasing six new albums. GBV broke up a second time in 2014, but Pollard again rebooted the band with a new album and a new lineup in 2016. History Formation and Early Years 1983-1991 Formed in Dayton, Ohio in the early 1980s, Guided by Voices began their career as a bar band working the local scene. As lineups and day jobs shifted, however, Pollard moved the band towards a studio-only orientation. Guided by Voices' recording career began with a stream of self-financed, Independent releases beginning with the R.E.M.-inspired EP Forever Since Breakfast and followed by the albums Devil Between My Toes, Sandbox, Self-Inflicted Aerial Nostalgia, and Same Place the Fly Got Smashed. With only a few hundred copies of each album being pressed, these tended to circulate only among the band members' family and friends. Lo-Fi Era 1992-1996 with the release of the ultra-limited album Propeller in 1992, of which only 500 copies were pressed, each with a unique, handmade cover, guided by voices for the first time gained some recognition outside of their hometown. This was due in part to gaining fans in the college rock circuit and bands such as Sonic Youth, R.E.M., and The Breeders. New York City and Philadelphia were host to Guided by Voices' return to the live stage and first shows outside of Ohio in 1993. At this time, the always fluid Guided by Voices lineup coalesced around the core of Pollard, guitarists Tobin Sprout and Mitch Mitchell not to be confused with Jimi Hendrix's drummer bassist Greg Demos and drummer Kevin Fennell. Sprout, who was briefly featured in an early 80s version of the band, had rejoined Circa Propeller and soon became Pollard's primary musical foil, in addition to contributing several of his own songs to the band's catalog. 1993 also saw the release of Vampire, Antitus, as well as the fast Japanese Spin Cycle and Static Airplane Jive EP. Over the next year, the band began to receive national media exposure from sources such as Spin Magazine. In 1994, after culling both new songs and reams of archival recordings from GBV, history, Pollard delivered the indie landmark B-1000 via Scat Records, with a distribution deal through indie label Matador Records. Soon, the band officially signed with Matador, concurrent with Pollard and his bandmates finally retiring from their day jobs to work in music full-time. The band surprised early audiences accustomed to the generally shambling, lo-fi and college-like quality of the records with their energetic live show featuring Pollard's homegrown rock theatrics consisting of karate kicks, leaps, Roger Daltrey-inspired Mike twirling, later beer can throwing at rival bands, Mitch Mitchell's windmilling and chain smoking. Sometime their true Matador debut came in 1995 with Alien Lanes, which, despite a five-figure recording allowance, was constructed out of home recorded snippets on the cheap. The band's underground following continued to grow, 
with notices coming from mainstream sources, such as in TV and Rolling Stone. Guided by Voices is frequently referenced by novelist and poet Dennis Cooper in his George Miles cycle, and the group's lyrics appear in Guide, the fourth of the five novels which make up the cycle. The first chapter of Guide is titled Guided by Voices. After sessions for a concept album entitled The Power of Suck were aborted, the band assembled under the bushes under the stars out of their first 24-track studio sessions, recorded with Kim Deal and Steve Albini, among others, in 1996. However, the strain of heavy touring would ultimately lead to the demise of the classic lineup, with Sprout deciding to retire from the road in order to focus on raising his first child, his painting, and his solo musical career. Sprout and Pollard marked the occasion by releasing simultaneous solo albums on the same day in 1996. Sprout's Carnival Boy and Pollard's Not In My Air Force, with each making a guest appearance on the other's album. Pollard maintained an active, parallel solo and side project career alongside GBV releases for the remainder of that band's existence. Major Label Records 1997-2001 Pollard formed a new incarnation of Guided by Voices with members of Cleveland group Cobra Vert in 1997. The following album, Mag Earwig, combined a new hard-rocking swagger with classic lo-fi fragments and one track, Jane of the Waking Universe, that featured the classic lineup for one last time. However, after another year of rigorous touring, the Guided by Verd lineup split in late 1997, following Pollard's announcement in an interview that he intended to work with other musicians on the next Guided by Voices project. Cobra Verd's Doug Gillard was tapped for yet another new Guided by Voices lineup in 1998, which also included classic era bassist Greg Demos, former Breeders drummer Jim Macpherson, and eventually former Amps slash Breeders guitarist Nate Farley. Departing from Matador, this lineup without Farley worked with producer Rick Ockasicht to create what was intended to be guided by Voices' major label debut. Initially produced for Capitol Records, due the collapse was repeatedly delayed and finally released in mid minutes 1999 on pseudo-indie label TVT. In the UK it was released on Creation Records. Featuring a slick, heavily processed sound previously far into GBV albums, Do the Collapse failed to garner radio airplay and was for the most part greeted with mixed reviews. Through touring heavily throughout 1999, and 2000 guided by Voices Live Act became legendary, with shows often stretching past the three-hour mark, and populated by an endless stream of new and classic songs, Pollard solo tracks, impromptu covers of The Who, David Bowie, and The Rolling Stones, all accompanied by continuous alcohol. In addition to multiple swings through the United States and Europe, 2000 saw the band's first and only visits to Australia and Japan. 2000 was capped with the release of the massive suitcase, a four-disc, 100-song troll through three decades worth of Pollard's enormous reserve of unreleased material. Three more box sets of unreleased songs, Suitcase 2, Suitcase 3, and Suitcase 4 released in October 2005, November 2009, and November 2015 respectively. 2001's Isolation Drills was recorded with Rob Schnapp, who aimed to capture the band's live sound more closely than did Arcasic. Though the album debuted in Billboard's Top 200 and received higher critical notices than its predecessor, it did not achieve the sought-after radio breakthrough. Later Years 2002-2004 After departing from TVT in 2002, Guided by Voices returned to Matador and released Universal Truths and Cycles, a departure from the previous two radio aspiring albums, and a return to the band's mid minus 90s, mid fi aesthetic. Universal Truth's producer Todd Tobias would also record the band's final two albums for Matador. 2003 saw the release of the prog styled Earthquake Glue, followed by the anthology box, 
set hardcore UFO revelations, epiphanies, and fast food in the Western Hemisphere, and the greatest hits compilation, Best of Guided by Voices, human amusements at hourly rates. In 2004, Pollard announced he was disbanding Guided by Voices following the release of the Half Smiles of the Decomposed LP and a final farewell tour. Pollard stated, this feels like the last album for Guided by Voices. I've always said that when I make a record that I'm totally satisfied with as befitting a final album, then that will be it, and this is it. Guided by Voices would go on to release no less than 15 more studio albums since Surrender Your Poppy Field. On November 9, 2004, Guided by Voices performed on the stage of Austin City Limits, broadcast by PBS on January 22, 2005. Their last television appearance was on Late Night with Conan O'Brien on December 2, 2004. They played the single, Everybody Thinks I'm a Rain Cloud When I'm Not Looking. After a select round of final U.S. shows, Guided by Voices played their final show at the Metro in Chicago on December 31, 2004. The four-hour, 63-song marathon finale is documented on the DVD The Electrifying Conclusion. Post-GBV 2005-2009 Pollard released his first post-GBV album in 2006 on Merge Records. The album, titled From a Compound, I Was a Double LP produced by Todd Tobias. Later Pollard albums have been released on Merge and Pollard's own label, Guided by Voices Inc. Following GBV demise, Pollard was frequently asked about band reunions. In 2007, he told Magnet, To me, it's just cashing in. If you're going to get the band back together, it should be to support a new record, not just to play the hits. That's like doing the county fair circuit. I don't see Guided by Voices reforming. For one thing, there were 50 or 60 people in Guided by Voices over time. The 1998-1999 lineup of the band reunited for a few songs for Pollard's 50th birthday in 2007. In October 2008, it was announced that Guided by Voices Music would be used for a 3D film musical based on the life of Cleopatra to be directed by Steven Soderbergh with script by James Greer. Soderbergh and Greer would rewrite the lyrics of the songs to fit the story. Soderbergh had previously used a Guided by Voices song in his film Full Frontal and wrote an introduction to a book on the band. Pollard wrote the soundtrack to Soderbergh's Film Bubble and that music was released as music for Bubble. Guided by Voices and Pollard posters, t-shirts, and songs appeared frequently on British sitcom The IT Crowd. Reunion 2010-2014 In June 2010, Matador Records announced that the classic 93-96 lineup would reunite to perform at the label's 21st anniversary celebration in Las Vegas in October of that year. A full reunion tour was subsequently announced, with the band selling out nearly every date. The tour included stops at Hoboken's Maxwell's and the Southgate House in Newport, Kentucky, two venues, that the band had built a history with due to legendary shows there in the past. When asked by Spinner if there might ever be another proper GBV record, Pollard said, I thought about it sometimes, but it's a very long shot. He says, we all kind of do our own thing. I'm not completely eliminating the possibility. On September 21, 2011, it was announced that a new GBV album, Let's Go Eat the Factory, had been recorded for release in January 2012. On January 4, 2012, the band performed their single The Unsinkable Fats Domino on The Late Show with David Letterman to promote Let's Go Eat the Factory. During their performance, bassist Greg Demos fell while attempting a dance move. However, Demos was not seriously injured and the band continued to perform their song. The band cancelled what was to have been their first post-reunion show in the UK at the All Tomorrow's Parties I'll Be Your Mirror Festival at Alexandra Palace, London, in May 2012, as well as a planned appearance at the Primavera Sound Festival in Barcelona. The band's management denied reports that the cancellations were due to them splitting up again 
and confirmed they were still working on new material. The band released a second post-reformation LP, Class Clown Spots a UFO on June 12, 2012. Generally regarded by fans as the best of the latter year's albums, it marked a return in tenor and quality to this line-up's mid 90s heyday. A third, The Bears for Lunch, followed in November. GBV began touring again in September 2012 with a 13-show tour of the South, starting in Dayton, Ohio, on September 8, 2012, which included gigs in Cleveland and Pittsburgh, and stops in North Carolina, Florida, Georgia, New Orleans, Texas, Houston, and Austin, Missouri and Kansas, with the final show. Another album, English Little League, was released in 2013. In a July 2013 interview with Magnet magazine, Pollard stated that English Little League could be the final GBV album. However, in September, a fifth reunion record, Motivational Jumpsuit, was confirmed for release on Guided by Voices, Inc., and Fire Records in February 2014. A sixth reunion album, Cool Planet, was released on May 13, 2014. On September 18, 2014, GBV abruptly released a statement on Facebook that they had once again disbanded. Remaining tour dates were cancelled. Second Reunion 2016 Present In February 2016, the official Guided by Voices Facebook page announced that GBV has been announced to headline the Sled Island Festival on June 25 and that a strikingly fresh Guided by Voices album in the works on which Pollard plays all the instruments. Pollard subsequently confirmed the new lineup for the band, which would include returning drummer Kevin March, along with newcomers guitarist Bobby Bear Jr., guitarist Nick Mitchell, and bassist Mark Shue. At the July 16, 2016 show, guitarist Nick Mitchell was fired from the band, in part for his inability to get along with at least one other member of the band, as well as his unusual demand that Pollard pay for Mitchell's wife to accompany. Mitchell was replaced by former member Doug Gillard, who subsequently rejoined Guided by Voices permanently later that month. On January 25, 2017, the band announced their first double album, August by Cake, for release on April 7, 2017, and released a new song, Hiking Skin. The album will also be Robert Pollard's 100th album. On March 10, the band premiered another new song from the upcoming album Dr. Feel Good Falls Off the Ocean. On June 22, 2017, Guided by Voices announced another new album for 2017, titled How Do You Spell Heaven, which was released on August 11. The band also released a new single from the upcoming album Just to Show You. On December 8 of the same year, the band announced another album to be released the following March entitled Space Gun, and released the title track as a single. In 2018, Guided by Voices announced the future release of the double album Zeppelin Over China and Warp and Woof for 2019. They also made their seventh single, You Own the Night, available for pre-order containing singles from both albums. In 2019, the band released Zeppelin Over China, Warp and Woof and Sweating the Plague and in 2020 went on to release three more albums, Surrender Your Poppy Field, Mirrored Aztec, and Styles We Paid For. In 2021, the band released Earthman Blues in April 2021. It's not them. It couldn't be them. It is them, in October 2021, and Crystal Nuns Cathedral, which was released on March 4, 2022. Band Members There has said to be over 50 musicians who have contributed to the band, the following is a list of all known members. Current Robert Pollard Lead Vocals 1983-2004, 2010 2010-2014, 2016-present, Guitar 1983-1992, Doug Gillard Guitar, Backing Vocals 1997-2004, 2016-present, Kevin March Drums, Backing Vocals 2002-2004, 2014, 2016 present. Mark Shu Bass, backing vocals 2016 present. Bobby Bear Jr. Guitar, backing vocals 2016 present. Former G 
Jim Pollard Guitar Bass 1983 1995 2012 Mitch Mitchell Guitar 1983 1997 2010 2014 Bass 1983 1987 Tobin Sprout Guitar Vocals 1986 1997 2010 2014 Kevin Fennell Drums 1983 1989 1993 1997 2010-2014, Greg Demos Bass 1990-1992, 1994-2000, 2010-2014, Cum Stock Guitar 1983, and John Guitar 1984, Mitch Swan Guitar 1986, John Thrasher Drums 1989-1992, Steve Wilbur Bass Guitar 1987-1989, Dan Tuhi Bass 1991-1994, James Greer Bass 1994-1996, Bruce Smitty Smith Drums 1983-1989, Dave Swanson Drums 1997-1998, Jim McPherson Drums 1998-2001, John McKen Drums 2001-2002, Nate Farley Guitar 1998-2004, Tim Tobias Bass 2000-2003, Chris Lucerenko Bass 2003-2004, Nick Mitchell Guitar Vocals 2016, John Petkovic Guitar 1997-1998, Don DePew Bass 1997-1998, Craig Craig O'Nichols Drums 1995, Nick Schultz Bass 1997, Peyton Eric Drums 1986-1989-9-9 Joe Buben Drums 1996 Leland Kane Bass 1996 Former Touring Members Matt Sweeney Bass 1996 Timeline Discography Devil Between My Toes 1987 Sandbox 1987 Self-Inflicted Aerial Nostalgia 1989 same place, The Fly Got Smashed, 1990. Propeller, 1992. Vampire on Titus, 1993. In 93. The Thousand, 1994. Alien Lanes, 1995. Under the Bushes, Under the Stars, 1996. Tonics and Twisted Chasers, 1996. Mag Earwig, 1997. You the Collapse, 1999. Isolation Drills 2001, Universal Truths and Cycles 2002, Earthquake Glue 2003, Half Smiles of the Decomposed 2004, Let's Go Eat the Factory 2012, Class Clown Spots a UFO 2012, The Bears for Lunch 2012, English Little League 2013, Motivational Jumpsuit 2014, Cool Planet 2014, Please Be Honest 2016, August by Cake 2017, How Do You Spell Heaven 2017, Space Gun 2018, Zeppelin Over China 2019, Warp and Woof 2019, Sweating the Plague 2019, Surrender Your Poppy Field 2020, Mirrored Aztec 2020, Styles We Paid for 2020, Earthman Blues 2021, It's Not Them. It couldn't be them. It is them. Who is them? 2021. Crystal Nuns Cathedral 2022.